Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 5 of Direwolf20 and Pahamar's Crash Landing Series. What's going on, Pahamar? We got apples. Yeah, we do. You like that? I made an apple tree. I've nice. actually done quite a bit in regards to food between last episode and this one. That's good, because so, I agree. Yeah, um, food is definitely a challenge on this map. I think we've mentioned it briefly, but the basic mechanic is that after you eat a certain number of the same food item, it has diminishing returns to the point where it will not refill your hunger at all. Um, you know, if you, you know, keep eating the same thing. So you need a variety of food and that's actually kind of difficult. So between last episode and this one, I've been harvesting a lot of leaves, uh, turning it into dirt and throwing the dirt into uh, our, our sieve to get some different uh, seeds. So I've got rice, I've got grapes, I've got soybeans, I've got cantaloupes and I've got sunflower seeds. Um, I don't know how all good those are in terms of food, but I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I also took one of our apples and turned it into an apple tree, as you can see here, you were harvesting them. By the way, don't eat apples by themselves, um, at least not much, because you can make a really good food item with apples. Nice. Uh, and I also got sugarcane seeds from sifting dirt, so nice. hooray for that. I'm moving the trench to the outside of the structure. Ah, good plan. And I just broke my tool, so I'm going to need to come back in. I also, okay. um, people can see from my point of view, I've added some half slabs to the outside of the back of the wall there. That should prevent spiders from climbing up the back of that and dropping on us. Um, and that's important because we're getting to night right now. Oh yeah, we better do something about that. I've also, by the way, implemented this chest here, which uh, is our leaves input chest. So we put leaves in here, and it's just an extra utilities transfer node that leads over to that um, crucible in the back. So we have an easy way to tell from inside the wall of our base whether or not we're having trouble with leaves, like if we're low or not. Like when this chest is empty completely, we'll know it's time to start filling the leaves back up because we're going to start running low on water soon. But with, with the two tanks of water that we've got going on and all these oak barrels here, I mean, we're in, we're in really good shape with water at the moment. I'm not too concerned about water as it is. Um, and I've also, because I've been doing so much farming, I did quite a bit of food preparation and found a lot of different foods that are pretty easy to make. So if you come over here, Bahamar, I'll show you some of the foods that I've been working up. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to take a look in this top iron chest. This is my food wow. chest. Wow. Yeah. Um, so... Sugar cane obviously turns into sugar. Bread is not too hard to get your hands on once you have rice. You can turn rice um, with the use of, uh, what is it, uh, mortar and pestle. You can turn it into flour. And then flour plus water and salt and a mixing bowl, which isn't used up, gets you dough. And then the dough you can convert into uh, bread. And then the bread you can turn into toast. So that's two different types of food that you can get from that. Uh, you can also wow. use the dough plus an apple plus a sugar uh, to get yourself an apple pie, which is a light meal, which is like really good. So apple pies are kind of really awesome. Um, but I don't know what it says for you. Like if you mouse over a food item, what's it say for in the in like the light blue? Eaten once in the last eighteen hunger. Right. So every uh, time you eat something, you can't eat it again for 18 hunger um, beyond a certain number of times. So you'll notice like if you eat something a bunch, I think it's five times, it'll start losing its nutritional value. So I'm going to find something that I know I've probably eaten a bit of. Uh, let's see. I thought I've eaten some of these recently, but maybe not. Maybe I, I've been actually trying to cycle through what I've been eating as I've been doing stuff. So I guess I haven't really eaten anything too recently. But you'll see it says, like, you know, nutritional value 100%. So if if that drops down, it'll go down to 80, then 60, 40, 20, and then 0. And, of course, 0 means you won't get anything out of it. So that would not be good, right? So we don't want to let that happen. I'd also like to, I think, Pahimar, start working on a little bit more automation, if we can. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could, like, start collecting these drop items. Yeah, would you like, I have an idea on a pretty good way to set that up, uh, as a matter of fact, if you'd like me to start looking at it. Where'd you put all the dust that we just had? I'm just putting them into uh, dust blocks. Okay, cool. 
Um, I have a way to automate that, by the way, as well. That should be pretty good. Of course, almost everything requires some form of iron, and that's like what we don't have a lot of at the moment. Because <laughs> early game iron, that's how it goes. So I don't know if you want to start working towards automation. We're still a little bit low on how much iron we're going to need. Or if you want to head towards that city, because we might find iron there. I have no idea what we're going to find at the city. But apparently we need to go there for at least to get a smeltery up, and that'll double our ore production, because then we can melt this iron ore dust into you know, liquid iron, and that'll get us double, you know, metal income, and that might be really nice to have. Oh, yeah. Um, so do you want to prepare for a trip to the city? And if we can get the smeltery going, that'll at least help our metal production, and we'll kind of take it from there? I think so. We should probably gather up some supplies before we go, though. Oh, we absolutely should. So how about we take a break for a minute, and we'll come back, and then we'll do whatever we need to do to get ready? Sounds like a plan. Okay, buddy. See you in a moment. Okay. All right, Pahamar. So we're traveling to an abandoned city. I don't know what we're going to find there. I recommend that we take only what we need to survive. So I've got armor. I've got a ton of water. i got some food. i got some weapons. i got some torches. Some cobblestone. Okay. I've got my weapon, I've got a pickaxe, so we can be sure to harvest the blocks that we're going for. Good. I thought if we forgot that, that would be really stupid. <laughs> I got a I shovel agree. and a hatchet, just in case. Uh, I got a bunch of water bottles, and I've got a bunch of different types of food. Um, and I also have a bow and arrow. And I have some armor, but I'm not going to wear the armor until we get out there, because wearing armor increases your heat, and, you know, that'll just make us burn through water faster. Indeed. So, I think we should emphasize that we should only take what we need to survive, right? Yep, I agree. So, I have my industrial strength air dryer, do you? I definitely do. Okay, good. Because I can't live without it. Alright, let's get going, because we're burning through daylight. Yeah, we are. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get out of here. And I fell down. Alrighty. Should we bring a bed or something, just in case? Like... Nah, hey! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we should bring a bed because uh, ideally we don't want to sleep out there. Well, that's true. Yeah. Because that would set our spawn exactly. point out there. Well, no, because we have we have sink. Oh yeah, sink. Oh, okay. okay, then there's no point bringing a bed. Right. So remember, no running. We're just gonna casually walk into the desert and hopefully not die. <laughs> this is the most unassailable of plans. Um, the sun is slowly moving towards uh, the, the sky there. I mean, we did just get through the night, so we should have a pretty large amount of daylight. Like, our goal should be, like, try and find a smeltery and just come right back, because I'm, 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 I'm going to assume that there's bad things out there. I've heard the cities are pretty dangerous. I get that impression if just knowing the general mob spawns around us. Yeah. I imagine the place that's full of loot is more dangerous. I would think, right? Like, he wouldn't be like, here's a whole bunch of free loot, and there's no mobs here. Yeah, because then we would totally just move our base out here. Yeah. That's oh, what's there up. There it is. Oh, there it is. Hey, yeah, that's cool looking. This oh, yeah, you is, haven't I thought, seen I thought this it was going to be like, I was expecting like a village. No, oh, yeah, because last episode I died. Because I came out here, then yeah. I was on my way back, and you were trying to save me, but you didn't get close enough. Yeah, this is No, the city, I didn't dude. actually see it. Wow, this is nice. All right, so this is like a real deal city. Okay. Yeah, so um, where do we want to start? I don't know. Just start looking in buildings and see what we can find. All right, I'm going to follow the road. Like this, this tall one with a little thing on the top of it, like that feels like it might be something to look at, right? Yeah, let's see. I suspect if there's like a little marker on top of it, it must mean something. Trap doors in the air. Random trap doors. Okay, cool. So oh, like what's here in front of me? There. Is there? Oh, it's a blaze. Oh, that's not good. I, uh, this one has, like... Should I break these mob spawners, you think? I do not think I... you want to get caught on fire here. Ah, there's a blaze here. I'm going to assume you're not getting caught on fire idea is a good one. Zombie pigmen. Whoa, and that thing hurts a lot. Uh, running, running for my life. Um, this thing, like, one-shot me. <laughs> That's not good. I'm very so, slowly very breaking slowly. the blaze spawner. Okay. 
Um, I'm afraid to come back out there because my sink shell needs to reform. I can't I don't break, that break that thing. I don't have a pickaxe. What? Uh, I can't break the um, uh, the blaze. The blaze box. If you want to go ahead and you go to my grave, which was like right by that first building. Can I break this for you? You can break my grave, yeah. Oh, there's too much stuff. All right, this is slow. I'm trying to make my sink shell come back faster. All right, let's see if I can do this. That seems a little faster, doesn't it? I I think if you can find some seared bricks and a smeltery type structure, like just there's grab elevators, it and play inside. elevators inside. Oh, really? Like open blocks elevators or? Yep. Pneumatic craft. Open blocks. Nice. Um, I kind of. I blaze am rods. Stuck here. You have blaze rods. Well, that's cool. I mean, I think it's a really bad idea for me to come back out there until my sink shell's done. But I don't want to stop recording now because you might have something exciting happen. But meanwhile, my my sink shell build progress is like thirty five percent. I need to build a chest. Come on, sink shell, let's go. Did you find my grave? I did. You know what? I need to reload, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, relogging is what you need to do to fix your uh, thirst and meters and such. So I'm at 50%. I'm really not comfortable leaving this building until my sink shell is 100% full. Because if I die out there and my sink shell's not done, like that's it, game over. See you later. Um, do you concur? I definitely concur. Wow, this place is scary. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can gather up more of your stuff and get it into this chest. Okay. Uh, 65%. I'm glad I brought wood. Yeah. So what did you do? Just put a chest down where I died and put all my stuff in it? I'm inside the building where I killed the blaze. Okay. And I'm just trying to get everything set up again. Nice. So that my sink shell soon. is at almost 80%. So, like, it's drawing my, my head and my arms right now. So I should be able to come back out there very soon. I appear 85%. to be in some kind of a library. Okay. Anything that looks like it might have a smeltery involved in it or something yet? Not yet, but I'm hearing blazes. Alright, that's always a terrible sign. Something's shooting at me. Ooh, oh, careful. Oh. Zombie pigman with a bow? <laughs> that's not good. Oh god, I'm waiting for Pahamara's door to open right here. Alright, my sink shell is pretty much ready to go. Uh, I think I'm going to start heading out there, because... Yeah, there we go, 96. It's drawing my face. Nice. Alright, I'm good enough. I'm out of here. I'm coming, Pahamar. Come quickly, because this is going to be really interesting. Yeah. Well, I normally under this circumstance, I would sprint out there, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just bringing a few water bottles, because I assume you have all my stuff. Correct. Okay. I am a little nervous. 
about the situation we find ourselves in, Bahamar. Especially concerning it's getting to be night. Yeah. Oh, it's getting to be night. Oh, that's not good. It's really getting to be night. Is there somewhere we can, like, camp out there that might be safe? I just got bit by a zombie. A zombie creeper! A zombie creeper? Uh, ender creeper. Ender creeper? That's somehow worse. I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. I'm coming by Amar. Might be best that you don't. I feel like that might be true. All my stuff's in a chest. Alright, if I'm gonna make it back to the base in time, I have to sprint. Like, there's no other option. It's either sprint or die. Oh boy. I actually see mobs spawning around me. Pahamar, I am running for our base as fast as I can. That's a good idea. My hunger is dropping rapidly as a result. I'm battling mobs in this library thing. That's not good. It's less than um, ideal. I, th I think I'm back at our base safely. Would you like to come back when it's daytime? Or do you I want would to recording? love that idea. Alright, I'm gonna get this food that's grown here, and I'm going to eat a little bit of food and come back when it's daytime, I think. That sounds like a plan. We'll see you on the day side. Day side. Alright, I'm gonna try and sleep through the night, actually. You know what? I think I can... Yes, I made it to the bed. If you log out, I can sleep through the night. Okay, I'm logging out. Logging out. Okay. Cool. Alright. So do you not want to come back then when it's daytime? Like, it's daytime now. So we it's daytime now, I'm it's back. Daytime. Okay, so... I am going to attempt... Wow, there's so many blazes up there. Yeah. Hopefully not too much has spawned out in this desert on the way there. I'm going to try my best to avoid encountering any creatures along the path. Alright, there's a... I can kind of cool. snipe kinda. mobs for you. Okay. But I'm gonna run out of ammo. Yeah. I'm heading to the, uh... And I'm on fire. And I'm on fire. Oh, that's not good. Are you, like, on fire dying? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh boy, this is, this is harder than I thought. Um, mostly because I died within seconds no, from a little no. baby zombie. What? Tons of creepers. What? I'm almost Like, we dead. should really... What happened? I came downstairs thinking that all the mobs were gone, but there was like oh, a yeah, ton of creepers like... in the room. Oh, that's not good. I think I dealt with them all. Checking it out. Are you dead? No, I'm two hearts. Is that you that I see? Oh, two hearts? How are you for food? Got lots. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's all of them in this building. I'm gonna light it up. Do you think the light prevents them from spawning from the spawners? There's no spawner down here that I can see. There's an ender creeper inside that building, and it terrifies me, and I also see a blaze inside that building. Alright, where's my stuff? In the chest. Which chest? The only chest. In the building where you're at? No. In the building that... The first one. You, there you go. Cool. I'm gonna put my armor on because I don't care about heat at this point. I care about death. Do you have my... Um, my weapon? No, it should be in there. Uh, nope. I had a Shit. bone. I'm in trouble. I have it. I have it, but I'm in trouble. Okay. Where you at? I'm coming. I only have a shovel. What story of this building are you on? Oh, that's not good. I was in the building Giant on the zombie left. Yep. Yeah. And he shoots arrows. 
Yes, uh, I think they're up there. So you have my thing, but it's up there. Yeah, it's in my gravestone. Did you have my pickaxe by chance? I did. Okay. Well, maybe I'll hide out here and hopefully stay safe and you make your way back and then we'll come back. That sounds like a wonderful plan. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, Pokemon, are you back yet? I think I see you out there. Oh, man, this place is just... Oh, God, another... You didn't bring a new weapon, did you, by chance? Because I... There's... those zombies are still up there. They are? It's on the third floor of this building, right? Uh, No, not the building you're in. I'm in the building across. Oh, it was there? Yep. I thought you were in this building when you died. No, I came over to this other one. Okay. So At least it's I'm upstairs there. I was in here. I thought you were in that one back there. Where are you? Did you find your gravestone? No, but I found a chest and a mob spawner right beside it. Oh, fun. Nothing much in it. See, on your mini map, you look like you were in this building over here, and there are zombie pigmen up there. On the third floor. That building, eh? Yeah. I think I was yeah, only on I the second floor. On. I think I just got them to shoot at each other. Hold on. Okay, I'm dead. Sounds like <laughs> they did it. Is your sink... Oh, yeah, I didn't initialize my sink shell. What? I didn't. Alright, well, you better get back here, then. You can't risk losing. Do you want to run back and we'll catch up when you're back? I really want to find out where my gravestone is. Okay, no, yeah, get I'll back, back here and do your sink. Alright, we'll be back when Pahamar returns. Alright, Pahamar, while you were waiting for your sink shell over there, I came back and I got my stuff. But I still don't have my weapon because you had it in your inventory, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, here's a gravestone of mine. Yeah, I. Yeah, this was rough up here. Yeah. All right. You got your gravestone? Yep. Okay. Let's go downstairs and get out of this building and then sort out our inventories and then we'll try and find what we're looking for and get back to our base. I had the second gravestone here because I died here a second time off camera. Oh, right. Yeah, guys, we had a lot of fun trying to get back to our stuff. Where are you? I'm here. We should right almost here. like you just. Like... I know. I'm, I'm oh, coming over here because I feel like we need to claim one of these rooms as our own. Okay. This is it. There's no spawners or anything in here, right? All right. Hook Take me up with my with my weapon, and I'll feel happy. My frying pan of bone awesomeness. Uh, and my pick, if you can. I think those are the only two things I'm really worried about. Nice. Awesome. Okay. So let's go and explore. Where way did you go? Oh, this way. Yes. Now, let's I don't see. know where I'm going, see. but... Come over this way. Come I think I saw way. something when I was walking in. Yeah? Hold on, I'm peeking around inside this room. Alright, where'd you go? Oh yeah, you're on the mini-map. Yeah, here I am. Did you find any smelteries by chance? Well, I found this room, this building, it kind of looks like they wanted it to look industrial, just like that smokestack there. Okay. You'll see when you come around oh. the corner. Yeah, that, that might be something. So I wonder about in here, so I'm just going to pop in the window here. Okay, no, oh, but a redstone energy cell. Energy cell. Oh, this is good stuff, craft, actually. And chromatic craft stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely taking this stuff. And this looks like an elevator? Okay. How do you call it? Um, there, there might be a call button there. You might want to take some of these chamber walls. I want this redstone energy cell, but I don't have a wrench hammer with me. Or a hammer, yeah. Or a hammer, yeah. Hey, I think hey, I'm gonna hey, break hey, it. smeltery, smeltery. Smeltery? All right. Oh god, and a spawner. Get over here quick. Get over here quick. All right. Deal with the spawner. I'm just breaking the spawner. Forget it. Nuts to trying to like. Uh, we got zombie pigmen. Okay, hold on. 
I'm clearing this out as fast as I can. He's coming through the window. Through the window. Put up glass or sand or dust or something. You okay? Yeah, a zombie spawn. Let's get out of here, dude. We got what we need. You didn't pick up everything off the floor there, dude. I didn't? No, there's a couple things still in there. My inventory's full. So is mine. Uh, hold on. I'll get rid of Rose Red. I don't think I need that, right? You know, I'm just gonna get rid of empty water bottles. I'm cool with, with not having that. Ow. Let's get out of here, dude. Did we get everything we needed, or do we want to try and loot a couple more um, buildings? I, I really want that redstone energy cell if we can get it, but I don't know how easy that'll be. I'm going I'm to try for it real quick. Can you break it with a pickaxe without losing it? I don't know, but I'm, I'm not coming back here anytime soon, so we're going to try it. I don't think I'll lose it. I think what would happen is you'd lose the energy that's stored in it, but there's zero energy in there at the moment. Yes, I got it. All right, let's get out of here. I found a really yeah, loot-filled room. Like, really, really worth coming to? Because it's getting dark and I see monsters around the map. My inventory's full, dude. Let me just try this one chest. Okay. Look around. There's like there's tons of chests in here. Gold. Um, Gold. You found some... Okay. Let's get out of here, dude. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like we got what we came for and I don't want to get greedy. I'm being greedy. I'm looking at the map. I'm heading back to our base. Because <laughs> if we lose what we've got here, that's going to be bad for us. Like, we need to get back to our base and regroup, make sure we have water and supplies and such. Okay, I'm on my way. How much daylight do we if have? Not, like, just, if not for the fact that my inventory was full, I might have explored more, but I really don't feel like losing all this stuff that we have. Like, I have, I have smeltery stuff that we need. I got some scorched bricks, I got some gold, uh, a whole bunch more needle, more needle stuff. stuff. Yeah. I also have the smelter controller. Okay. Maybe we'll come back in the future when we have more resources, but for now I think I think we have some non-loading chunks in front of us. Yeah, okay. Wow. okay, wow. Are you seeing that too? Okay, it just loaded for me. No, I'm not seeing no, that um, myself, I'm just realizing how low the sun is. I'm sprinting. 400 meters away. I'm sprinting. Okay, I got my needle gun. I'm, needle gun. I'm not worried about hunger, I'm worried about death. Again. <laughs> That's the theme for this episode. I'm not worried about hunger, I'm worried about death. Alright, I'm at 250, Pa. I'm e even if we die you. here, we'll have gravestones that are relatively close to our base. And we'll Prepare be able right. to block off the entrance. Okay. Because it was left open. I am ready. I am ready. My dust is ready. Mobs are spawning. It's officially yep, I night. See that. I see that. Sprinting should save us. Don't look at the Enderman. Skeletons. This might be terrible in a moment. Yeah, I think we should log for a moment. I'm not logging. I'm almost there. If you want to log, go ahead. I can't sprint anymore. I made it. You got a tiny zombie in. Oh, I got a log. I got a log. Okay. <laughs> Climb our logs to save his life. All right, guys. I made it back to the base. I am very happy about that. We will come back in a minute. I'm going to try and get it to be daytime. So, yes, Pahamar, I'm sleeping. So just stay off for a minute, and I'll be able to sleep through the night here. I love how my viewers are just seeing me sit at the Minecraft screen. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, man, that was craziness. That was complete and utter insanity right there. Ah! I, I said to wait a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Keep waiting. I've got four unassembled PCBs. That's really nice. And those are used for... Uh, any machine from Tinker's th from Thermal Expansion. Oh, nice. Yeah. How's it looking? Put all this stuff in my 
Could you tell Restoring me if I can come back in the game? Technological stuff. Like come back in the game. Uh, you can try. It should be relatively clear. There might be creepers and stuff around still, but skeletons and zombies should be dead by now. Yeah. Okay. They are. Cool. Oh, man. Oh, hey, I've got compressed iron ingots. That's really nice, because that can do a bit of automation that I want to do. I've got a charging station. Nice. Let us look at the loot we just got. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Smeltery drain. Charging station. I got some book. Gold, a golden sword. Factory block. Scorched brick. I feel like that's going to be useful. I got an alumite axe. Yeah. Neat. And some gold nuggets. I feel like you got the real loot. Oh, yeah, there's the blaze rods I got. You did get it. You cool. did get it. I did. Nice. nice. I got it, dude. I got the, red, the redstone energy cell. Um. So, hey, do you want to do some automation with collecting items? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. How you, how you just need to... This? What's that? I was wondering how you're going to do that. So, I'm thinking if we relocate things just a little bit. I want to have this here. That there. Put the sieve here, and check out... You ready for this coolness? Where'd you go? How much do you know about Pneumaticraft? Uh, I have heard it has a um, hopper of its own. Yep. That's the plan. Boom. What's up? Nice. We should probably put a chest there that's a bit bigger. That's fine, uh, but I just want to test it real quick. Actually, let me make sure this is running. So if you look, the items are actually getting sucked into the hopper when they pop out. I'll look in a sec. See? Oh, nice. So just like a vanilla hopper sucks any item up that's on top of it, the omnidirectional hopper will suck up any item that's one block in front of it. So by having it kind of like cornered there like that, and I tested this a little bit in single player to come up with this design, so obviously, you know, that's how I was able to do it so fast. So as long as you don't stand right there, you won't collect the items, but it'll all go into the chest. So yeah, if you, if you want to upgrade that chest, that's cool, but um, I have another thing we can do, if you'd like. If you'd like to see the other cool idea I have. What's the other cool idea you have? Well, I think first we should make our smeltery. Should we come back in a minute once we've organized all our stuff that we have? Sure. I'm sure. making a crucible okay. so we can get some lava, because I know we need lava, lava for Tinker's Construct smeltery. You are correct, sir. We'll be back in a minute. Well, it's nice to know that our plans grew while we were gone. It's always reassuring. Yeah, um, but I think we've unfortunately hit the wrapping up point, so we are not going to show you guys my next plan for automation here, but we will see it probably next episode. Ah, uh, there's a spider out here. How's it going, spider? <laughs> spiders. Got him. There's two spiders, and one of them's like weird looking. Flying spider. That's the name of the creature. The creature's name, just in case you didn't hear me, was flying spider. Did it fly? I can only assume it did because it was here. And terrifying. <sighs> okay. So, that was fun. Um, I guess I'm going to do a little bit more farming to kind of replenish whatever supplies we may not have. Um, I think we're actually all right for food still. By the way, spider eyes are a good source of food. You can make spider eye soup, and it's pretty good stuff. So, hang on to any spider eyes you get. <laughs> That sounds yeah. really questionable. 
Hey, dude, I'm just looking at what's in NEI and trying to find easy to make food sources. And we actually, I think everything in the chest right now is what we can craft right now with what we have. Like, I think I've made everything possible. Do you want to do a quest before we wrap up? I might be able to do a quest. And I know we need to wrap up like right now, but I think like basic survival, cooking utensils, I just have to make a juicer and we can complete a quest. If we make one TNT, we can do the exploding iron and get 16 more compressed iron ingots. Uh, that's probably true. Except we don't have sand. We'd have to, uh, we'd have, to, oh, we have hammers. Oh, yeah. I think we should wait till next episode for that because I'm Fair about enough. to make the juicer. Juicer crafted and cooking utensils completed. I'm going to claim the reward. I think I already have a pot though. Yeah. I have a juicer now. Juicer opens up even more food options. Um, oh, cool. Uh, that automatic... So, uh, spider eye soup <laughs> was the next recipe or the next reward. <laughs> so we can complete that quest now, as a matter of fact. Um, and we just need to kill four more skeletons and we can complete another quest. So maybe next episode, though, because it is way past wrapping up Point Bahamar. We, like, we got to wrap up now. Yeah. Totally. Okay. okay. Um, just before we wrap up, I expanded out the moat on the outside so we can actually start filling in the one on the inside here. Nice. Well done, sir. Indeed. All right, guys. All right. Daryl20 and Pahamar, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Our adventure to that little city thing was extremely scary and dangerous. There's obviously a lot of good stuff there, Pahamar. I think we should work towards getting some armor and making our way back out. Uh, so for now, signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. See you later, guys. See you later, guys.